Before this piece devolves into a tangle of comic references, check out our list of 8 fantastic superhero games for PC. That should suffice to keep you occupied till the next blockbuster arrives. 1. Injustice 2 If you enjoy superheroes punching each other in the face, Injustice 2 is the game for you. It's a fighting game based on DC Comics that reimagines Batman's universe as one in which Superman has gone rogue. Prepare yourself for a plot that will make you laugh out loud. Injustice 2 is, without a doubt, the best presented fighter ever. The plot is told through obscenely well-produced cutscenes, and it feels particularly timely, with recent favorites like Supergirl, Green Arrow, and Black Canary starring alongside Batman and Harley Quinn. Each new chapter quickly presents new perspectives and historic DC locations, making this a fast-paced journey through decades of comic book history. Characters throw themselves across the surroundings in battle with a sense of weight and power rarely seen in video games. Even a button masher may easily activate some insanely fun abilities, like as the Flash catapulting an opponent through time and slamming them into the Sphinx's nose, thanks to the game's complex fight system. 2. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Movies based on comic books have a tendency to be dark and moody. LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is here to save you if you're looking for something with a more upbeat tone. In terms of gameplay, it's all LEGO as usual, puzzles obstruct your progress through the environment, so you'll have to smash the scenery before rebuilding it into useful contraptions to assist you progress. The Marvel charm, on the other hand, will capture you. The complexity of the universe from which Marvel Super Heroes draws is what makes it so appealing. There are hundreds of references to Marvel comics, cartoons, and films, with varying degrees of humor intended at both seasoned fans and those who are brand new to the world. And, because the game takes various influences from the characters' film adaptations, this is likely the only time you'll see the X-Men mansion in the same city as the MCU Avengers Tower and Sony's Amazing Spider-Man Oscorp Complex. 3. Batman – Arkham Knight The Batman Arkham games from Rocksteady are unquestionably among the best superhero games, but which one is the best? Is it better to be an asylum seeker or a city dweller? Actually, neither, it's Arkham Knight. Knight is the Arkham game that most closely resembles a Batman comic. The final game in the series focuses on Scarecrow and the enigmatic Arkham Knight, rather than trying to cram every villain into the tale like a conveyor belt of evil. This leads to a more fundamentally satisfying plot, and it really showcases Rocksteady's creative talent when it comes to twists, even if they were completely predictable. All of Batman's other well-known foes have their own miniseries in the form of side quests. This contributes to the feeling that Gotham, which is now completely explorable, is a metropolis beset by pockets of independent crime. 4. Batman, The Telltale Series The Caped Crusader is the focus of the Arkham games, but what of the guy beneath the cowl? In their reimagining of the Batman universe, Telltale focuses on Bruce Wayne's moral dilemmas. Telltale's Batman has spent five episodes delving into the essence of Bruce Wayne's dual personality and his responsibilities to the city of Gotham. Several times throughout the tale, you must select whether to send Bruce or Batman to a situation, effectively, you must pick between social influence and horrifying violence. As Bruce, you'll face a predicament that follows the Telltale formula, several dialogue options and timed responses, with incorrect responses potentially resulting in calamity. As Batman, the adventure game plays more like a detective than a knight, with him using his tools to analyze evidence and his intelligence to link clues. The fact that it takes place early in Batman's career is maybe its most compelling feature. You'll see how each of his acts shapes the rise of his archenemy, the Joker. 5. X-Men Origins, Wolverine We all know that X-Men Origins, Wolverine, the movie isn't just the worst X-Men film ever created, it's also one of the worst superhero films ever made. On the other hand, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, the game is excellent. It's a third-person action brawler that finally lets Wolverine let loose and get a little bloody, with lots of nasty kills that send limbs flying in all directions. It's mature and chaotic in a manner that the film series didn't attain until Logan, and even then, it only shows us the older Wolverine, who is slower and more contemplative. In this game, Wolverine is in his prime, tearing through enemy soldiers like a wild beast, and his entire might is finally at your command. He once yanks a helicopter pilot from his seat and uses the chopper's blades to sever the pilot's head. There's nothing in the movie that's that cool or terrifying. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.